I'd like to welcome you back to the 1994 Laurel County Homecoming Parade. Still lots of more contestants, beauty contestants coming through. Got some floats and nice. They are yeah. Kelly No is the North Laurel Junior Miss contestant Kelly that was at the Pittsburgh Homecoming. We've got Tiny Miss Snibrock coming through, Jade Larkey. Our sponsor was Larkey Distributing Incorporated. Another beauty contestant winner, the 1994 Little Miss Snibrock, Jessica Hoskins. Kristen Patton is the All-American Girl winner in the All-American Boy-Girl pageant. Daughter. Contestant number nine in tonight's pageant, Paige Martin. She's a 19-year-old daughter of Donnie and Mary Martin, and her sponsor is Martin's Used Cars. Touch of Elegance car coming through. A couple of lovely young ladies on board there. And the horses coming through. A lot of times they signal the end of the parade, but we'll wait and see if there's anything after that. I guarantee you there'll be something after it. <laughs> There's always something that comes after the horses. <laughs> it's a good one, Doug. <laughs> Doug's just preparing his uh, jokes for tonight's pageant. Isn't that right, the Doug? traffic. That's what comes <laughs> after the horses. We appreciate all the people who have made their way to downtown for yet another homecoming parade. These homecomings seem to get closer and closer every year. Maybe. Is that what happens as you start getting older? The years just go by quicker and quicker? It seems that way, doesn't it? Yes. Homecoming is always a great time for people who don't live here anymore to come back home, see people that they haven't seen in years. I guess that's why they call it the homecoming. I was reading in the Laurel News Leader the other day, Dennis House wrote an article that said we should combine the homecoming and the county fair and the chicken festival into just one big county celebration. Dennis, what a lame idea. <laughs> it would be huge. I don't know what if Laurel County's big enough for all those people. What a lame idea. <laughs> all three of our major county events, whether it be the county fair, the homecoming and the chicken festival, all have personalities of their own. That's right. They all have events of their own that are inherent to the, that particular event. You know, the Laurel County Homecoming is one of the oldest traditions in Kentucky. It, it goes back many, many is. years. We've had it for how many years? Oh, geez. 50, 60 it's, years? It's, up, it's in the upward 50s, heading towards 60 years. I heard at least 50. It's past 50. I know that for sure. Um, but all of these events are uniquely their own. They don't try to compete against each other. And I think it says a lot about our community, that we have so many volunteers working on so many different things. It's a, it's a very proud statement to make of our community that we call it, those of us who are affiliated with the Tourism Commission here, we refer to them as our summertime big three. The fair is in July, the homecoming is in August, and the chicken festival is in September. And I think we're very fortunate to have three festivals, one per month, for the summertime months. We certainly appreciate all the organizers of all those events that put in lots of hard work to get these uh, things on. Certainly appreciate them and all their hard work. I, well, was, Doug, just, I, I was just teasing Dennis there. I mean, he, he <laughs> knew it was a lame idea. He is a friend of mine, and I just wanted to tease him about that a little bit. Well, he'll get you after the parade, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, he'll pay me back. That's right. <laughs> Well, it looks like the end of the 1994 Laurel County Homecoming Parade. Uh, thank you for joining us today, and Doug, a pleasure as always. Suzanne, it is, it is great to work with a professional such as yourself. <laughs> Keep 
keep plugging away up there at Channel 18, and we want to see you behind the anchor desk. That's right, one of these days, that's right. And when they are looking for a co-anchor, well, I'll just stop it right there. <laughs> of course, Doug, you will come to mine. You can't do it without you. But again, invite everyone to come out to the homecoming pageant tonight at 8 o'clock at Levi Jackson State Park. You might want to come early because there's lots of people that come out for that. So, and again, Doug will be the MC. So, if anything, come out and see Doug in a tux. Oh, geez. <laughs> he said he's going to shave and everything for tonight. So, <laughs> so he will be lovely, just pretty. Once again, thanks. And thank you for joining us here on American Cable Television. Um, we'll see you again next year. Have a great afternoon.